If you're ready to send out your Christmas letter, look no further than this video. I'm going to be going into detail about exactly how I use Airtable to keep me organized every year with this particular process. Beyond that, I'm actually giving away access to my template. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Hey, my name is Gareth Pronovost. I am the owner at Gap Consulting, where we help you to organize and automate your business and life. If that's of interest and you wanna learn more about how we do that, definitely check out our website. I will include links below. And don't miss our free Airtable crash course. It will get you up to speed quickly and easily in Airtable. But that all being said, let's just jump into my template here and we'll start talking about what this process looks like. So again, first things first, if you want to access this template, I will make it available. Just share your email and I'll go ahead and send the link to you. Once you get that link, because this is a template, you've got to access, or rather you've got to create a duplicate for yourself from there. So once you access it, a couple things. You're first going to see a little base description. This is going to walk you through some steps and I'll go over these in just a minute. But the thing you really need to do is make a copy. In order to do that, make sure to click up here and just select duplicate base. That way you will own that duplicate. That's the only way you can make changes to this stuff. Okay, so let's talk about this description and really the changes you need to make here. I'll go into detail on these, but you're gonna have to enter your own address into your version of the template. That way you can have a return address on the letters that you send out. The other thing you need to do, number two, is turn on all automations. When you get access to this template, the automations are gonna turn off by default. So make sure you turn those back on, that way it'll do all the things it's supposed to do while you're using it. Number three, make sure you change your family member options. I'll go into detail on this, but if you're not changing that, it's not gonna make a lot of sense. Basically, we're gonna categorize all these things by who is sending that card. Maybe you have multiple people in your family who are sending these things out, so just you know, make sure we grab the person who is associated with that. Okay, number four, make sure you update the link to sender's address with the record ID that's unique for your database. More on that in a minute. Okay, so again, we'll go into detail on these, but first we have to imagine what's the process look like. And really, all of these things are gonna fall into three different statuses. And I, I track those statuses in this status field. We've got a waiting review, we've got a waiting print, and then we've got printed. So what's the process look like? So every year for us, I go ahead and we, you know, we make our Christmas letter, we draw it up on Word template, and we send that off to FedEx to get printed. Then it's on us as a family to make sure that we reach out to the people that we're sending this to and we start confirming addresses. So the first stage is awaiting confirmation or awaiting review of the address. Usually that looks like I, I just get on my phone, I start sending out a bunch of text messages, Hey Johnny, are you still at ABC Street? We're sending out Christmas letters. Johnny gets back to me, says yes, and then we're good to go. Once we move into that second stage, that is awaiting print. So that means that I've confirmed the address, but it hasn't. we haven't printed out the envelope yet, right? Then in the third stage, well then, well, the second stage is we print the envelope. Then the third stage is, cool, it's done. It's all signed, sealed, delivered, right? So really it's just those three buckets. And what we've really leaned into this year, made some super enhancements in here using the Airtable automations. And I'm gonna go into detail on those. But first it's, under, it's important to understand that process. So when you're looking at the template, you've got a table of people. This is where you're gonna track all your contacts and the letters that get sent out to them. You're also gonna link that to a table of addresses. And then of course you also have this last table here where you're gonna enter in your address. This particular table, you'll just go into this one particular box right here and enter your address. You're never gonna add a new record here, just update this. Whatever this address is, again, this is gonna be used as the return address on all of the things, all of the things that you print out. All right, so let's just walk through the automations really quickly. We've got a bunch of them here. The first one is to set an initial status. This automation, you know, feel free to take a look at the template. Really what it's doing though, is it's saying, hey, if you enter in a new person who's gonna get something, we're gonna start them out at that awaiting review status. So we have to have an automation do that because it doesn't by default have, you know, it doesn't by default fill out a status. The second one is gonna move them to the awaiting print. So once you have confirmed the address, in the second step here, 
This is the, the review address view. Once you've checked this box, that's gonna trigger an automation to update the status to be you know, awaiting print. Then, that, and that's all handled in that second automation. From there, we're gonna update the status to printed once it's been printed. So when you're ready to print, it'll look at this view, the awaiting print view, and it'll print anything that's in this view if you tell it to. From there, you'll just mark it off that it's printed by checking the printed box over here, right here. And we'll walk through an example. But once you check that off, then the automation will update it to the printed status. Now, the other piece here is it's gonna actually reset your status for every piece of information in here every year. Because when you come back in November of next year and the year after that, you want it to kind of be a clean slate. So this fourth automation, the reset the status, is gonna uncheck all the boxes and it's gonna bring everything back to the awaiting review status. And it's gonna do that around October sometime. This is all handled by a formula. If you wanna dive in and kinda of dissect this a little bit, check out the reset status date formula and look at that reset status for new year automation. It's all baked into the formula so you don't have to do any of the thinking, but if you wanna check it out and explore how we built that, check that out. Now the last piece here is linking to your address. And remember, your address lives here in this table. And this is, again, this is one record. You never update this. Uh, other than to change your address here and make it relevant for your family. So the part here that you need to do for your own database is to take your record ID. This record ID, this is a formula and this record ID is unique for every database. I can't stress that enough that you have to update this for yours or this automation will break. So grab this record ID just by copying whatever shows up here for you. It'll be different in your database and change that right here into the sender's link. Make sure you update that for the link to sender's address automation. This will allow you to, every time you create a new person that you're gonna send a letter to, it will automatically link them back to your address. That way you can get your address on that envelope. Okay, so those are the automations. Let's now talk about the dashboard. So if you look at apps, you'll see that we've got three things built here. This is gonna require that you are on an Airtable Pro plan in order to get this access, but it solves a couple of things for us. First and foremost, we have a total count running here. So this is gonna show you how many different cards or people rather are listed in your database. So this is just doing a simple count. That way when you send this stuff off to the printer, you know how many to have printed out. Now the second piece you'll see is our chart. And we're gonna actually get to watch this update in real time. And so this chart is gonna tell you, and it's organized by status. So it'll tell you you've got four right now that are awaiting review, and you've got two that are marked as printed. And so as we move things through the process, we're gonna notice these numbers change. And then lastly, you'll see we have a page designer here. This is set up so that it can print an envelope uh, with the proper things when we're at that stage. So let's walk through a quick example of how this whole thing will go down. First and foremost, to add new people into the database, you'll use the form. So go ahead and click open form here and it'll open up a new window so that you can put a new thing in here. I will just uh, imagine that I'm sending something to myself. So fill out these pieces of information. And family member here, I mentioned earlier that this is where if you have different members of your family who are sending these uh, Christmas cards out, you can mark who it is that's sending this. So let's say this was coming from family member one. Once we submit, that record is now created in our database. You'll be able to track it right here. And you see that it was just automatically moved down in here. So a couple of our automations have already started firing. Because we have a new record, it knows it has to update it to the awaiting review status. And it also linked it appropriately to the your address part. So whatever's back here. All right, so now let's imagine that we're gonna come in and put an address into this. So what we do is we come right here to the address area, or we can click into the address table, but I'll do it directly from this table. I click this plus button and I hit add new record. Now in this case, I'm gonna make up an address. So let's say it's 1166 Main Street in Denver, Colorado, and then zip code, Eight zero 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 zero. We're gonna go ahead and X out of here. And once we have confirmed that that address works for us, 
that is in our review address process. So right here, we can come through, again, this is where you can text your friends and ask them, hey, are all, all, are all of these pieces of information up to date? And once you get confirmation that this is the right address, just mark this checkbox, address confirmed. Now, once you do that, the automation is going to trigger and it's going to move it into the next stage. And we're going to actually see that right here on our graph that it was moved from the awaiting review status and it's now in the awaiting print. So now it's time to print something. So let's get to work. We go into the awaiting print and sure enough, we see that current record here. And we also see it down here in our page designer. Now, a couple of things. Let me go ahead and expand this so that we can look at this. We see the your name. So again, this is whatever you've put on that record for your return address. And then also this is bringing in whatever you put on that particular recipients. In order to print this up, you can just click the print icon here. Now I've already got this set up to my printer and uh, my printer knows that it is, uh, it already has you know, envelopes in there. So let's see if we can print that up. You can print all of the records in a view. So if you had multiple at a time to do, you can definitely do that. Select one per page. The paper size is custom here and I've already preset the width and height. So let me go ahead and print and see what happens. <laughs> All right, beautiful. So I was just able to pull this off the printer. So taking a quick look at this, you see that sure enough, the return address is put on there appropriately, and then the address is filled out as well. And you'll also notice that there are a couple of snowflakes on there. You can replace those with whatever different, uh, you know, symbols or Christmas themed things you want to put on your particular envelope. Now, once you've got that, then of course, the last part of the step here is to mark it as printed. It then leaves this view and within a moment we're going to see the graph update here and one more has been removed from the awaiting print stage and put into the printed stage. So this is a great way to track the progress. Now listen, of course we did this for Christmas cards and it's kind of a silly use case, but of course you can probably also see how this could apply to a lot of different business use cases while you move something through a pipeline and you're tracking different views in your Airtable database. So I hope that this inspired some awesome new thoughts for you in ways that you can use this software to better organize and automate all the things in your life. As always, I hope you found that to be very helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more, swing on by our website and check out all the resources we've put together. We have a free Airtable crash course that will get you up to speed quickly and easily in Airtable. And we also offer some paid services, including hourly consultations with our experts. We have some online group coaching programs and courses. And for the very advanced needs, we can build a bespoke project for you from scratch. So swing on by and I look forward to connecting with you soon.